Today for the capacitor bank I've got some light bulbs. I took the two compact fluorescents and I gently squeezed the base in my vise to pop the glue joint so I could open them up and have the circuit boards exposed. I will uh, hook up the capacitor bank uh, by the normal input leads to these dead devices. The third bulb I have is obviously uh, an incandescent for a uh, picture uh, light. Uh, we'll see what it does, if anything. The first compact fluorescent has now been hooked up to the cat bank by its input leads. I cut off the little input resistor, and this is ready to go. The cap bank's ready to charge, so let's do this first bulb. Charging, charge, fire. Well, something popped on it, but uh, didn't break the glass. The first dose of the capacitor bank blew off the lead that had the resistor on it originally, so I've hooked up elsewhere on the little circuit board with a clip lead. Let's charge up and fire again. See if anything happens here. So, charging, charge, fire. Loud bang again, but nothing went flying. That second shot blew the other original lead off, so I've added a clip lead and hooked on elsewhere to the circuit board again. Let's take shot number three. Charging, charged, fire. Again, one heck of an ear splitting loud bang, but nothing went flying. For shot number three, I've hooked up to the terminals of the little spiral fluorescent tube. We'll see what, if anything, that does. Charging, charged, and fire. Again, just a very loud bang, but nothing went flying. There was a little 10 microfarad, 200 volt electrolytic capacitor on the board that came off that compact fluorescent. The first couple of shots did not pop this capacitor, so I've hooked it up directly to the clip leads. Let's give it a try. Maybe we can yet get something to pop here. Charging. Charged, and fire. Well, it looks like the capacitor did pop. Yes. It's obviously split right open at the end. Finally got something to pop out of this uh, compact fluorescent.
I've set up the second compact fluorescent. Again, I removed the input resistor and I've hooked up to the original input leads where AC would have gone. Let's give it a try. Charging, charged, and fire. Well, at least this one moved around a tiny bit. The first shot into the second compact fluorescent actually cracked the uh, end of the tube allowing air in so this one will never uh, light up or pop. So for the second and last shot of this one I've hooked my two clip leads right across the electrolytic capacitor which is again a 10 microfarad 200 volt. So, let's pop it. Charging. Charged. And fire. Oh, I see a little smoke and the capacitor looks damaged. Yes, it looks like the capacitor popped nicely. That's all the pop I'm going to get from this compact fluorescent. The last bulb I have to try today is uh, this little straight incandescent bulb from a picture frame light. Let's see uh, what, if anything, this will do. Charging, charged, and fire. Yay! We got a pop. There's broken glass. Finally got an explosion. Excellent. I thought that I was done for this video, but I just found a blown 500 watt uh, tube for a work light. The kind that has a long tungsten filament going down what's supposed to be a quartz tube, but who knows what it's made from. Uh, made in China and arrived defective with the filament pre-broken. Let's see if 6400 volts from the cap bank can jump the brake and blow this thing. So, let's give it a try. Charging. Charged. And fire! And we got a pop. Awesome! Here's a quick view of the wrecked pop light bulbs, the incandescent in its remains, and the compact fluorescents. Unfortunately, neither spirally fluorescent tube popped because the uh, 
initial shots at the circuit board caused the ends of the tube to break, allowing air in. Maybe next time we'll try something different with the compact fluorescence. Again, I thought I was done uh, this light bulb video, but look what turned up. The core tube from a 1000 watt high pressure sodium bulb. It's completely fried at both ends and uh, would not stay lit in the sodium fixture any longer, so it got removed and taken apart. Let's see uh, if it still has uh, any gas or whatever in it and will pop from the capacitor bank. So, let's give it a shot. Charging, charged, and fire. Well, I heard something and the thing changed color. Perhaps I'll have to set up and try that again. It is still intact. I've reconnected it. It's just lying uh, across the cat bank's output leads. So let's give it to uh, shot number two. Charging, charge, and fire. Again, a snap, but no bursting of the target. This doesn't seem to be doing much with the cat bank in the way of uh, exciting explosions, so I'm just going to give it one more shot and uh, that'll be it. Charging, charge, and fire. And again a little snap of a discharge, but no explosion, so I think we'll call it a day on uh, this 1000 watt uh, high pressure sodium uh, bulb core.